Lindsay and I are here to do a great glute workout to kind of tone those muscles. We're going to get the legs, we're going to get quads, hamstrings, but our focus here today is glutes. Why? Because they are very near and dear to my heart. Um, little quick story, when I was younger I had no butt and I got made fun of a lot and to be honest it wasn't too fun. So I said take this world when I decided to do some squats and get going on my glutes. So Lindsay is going to share this wonderful experience with me today and we're going to kick some butt. Are you ready? Yep. Wonderful. So our first exercise, basically we're going through circuits of 30 seconds each. We'll do each circuit twice. 30 seconds of each move twice. I'll give you modified versions, I'll give you advanced versions. Let's just have some fun. You can take your weight. Here, weight is always optional. If this is your first time, I always suggest no weight for the first time. Um, and that's about it. So in three, two, one. 30 seconds right here. Sumo squat. Your feet are nice out and wide, pointing to the outsides of the rooms. You're squeezing your glutes. This is our first move. It should activate those glutes and get you going. If you're already pretty warmed up, you can always speed it up a little bit. Keep breathing. Come on, Lindsay. Woo! Breathing with me. Good. And you're down. Option here is to drop the weight. Or you can stick with me. We've got our next move. A little squat with a leg lift. Important thing here, keep those knees forward. Those glutes are tucked. You're going down and back up. You ready? 30 seconds each side. Let's go. Nobody wants a nasty outer thigh. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> if today's your first time, please keep in mind that we have many, many days together left. Every day is different. Start where you need to, and we'll build from there. Very good. Switch legs. Woo! And go. First time I worked my glutes wasn't too pretty. Tell you that. And we're not here to be pretty. We're here to be strong. We're here to glow. Woo! Bet you can hear me breathing. Reminder for those of you with asthma, like myself, take breaks when you need it. And done. Woo! Dropping that weight myself. Right onto our glute bridge. You're on the ground. Your toes are on the floor. You've got two options. One minute, Lindsay's gonna do this. Double glute bridge. You're up here. And holding it nice and tight, going down and up. Option two, one leg with me for 30 seconds. In three, two, go. Up and down. Woo. Enough of that for me. Let's check her form. Keep going. Pull those glutes tight. Haha, -ha, I get to take breaks. <laughs> Keep it up. All right, lift those hips a little bit higher. Woo. And good mini break. You're going back up. Double legs. I'm on the other side here. In three, two, go. Woo! Uh-oh. Gotta hide the shirt. Hide the tummy. <laughs> Come on, girls. Keep it up. Woo! little break again. I'm going to check your form. All right. You're looking beautiful as always. And done. Very good. Now, one of my favorites, we're back up right away. Jump squats. Arms can be wherever you want. I like to keep mine here nice and strong. We're going down and up for 30 seconds. Let's go. 
That's our advanced option. Keep in mind, we can also go to the toes or just a nice squat. Lindsay, keep hopping. Keep going. Bring those knees together, girl. Good. I'll be with you. Woo! For a five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! You made it through, but we do it again. So let's go. We've got our sumo squat here. You'll earn your break right after we're done with the circuit. If you're at home, remember my friend the pause button. That's your break whenever you need it. <laughs> Feet wide in three, two, and go. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Stay where you are. Turn you to the side. We're going out. Squeeze the glutes in. Out. Squeeze in. It might feel a little funny at first, as I'm sure you might. <laughs> but this move is essential. And good, very good. Side squat to leg lift. Feel free to drop your weight. Right side first. Chest is high. And go. Really initiate that movement in the hips and pull up those legs. Good, you're looking good. I'm waiting for her to mess up so I can take a break. Woo! You're doing great. Lindsay and our viewers at home, you're doing awesome. Switch legs. Woo! Let's get ready and go. Now, if you don't have all the time in the world to work out, keep in mind, you can do each circuit once instead of twice. A little tip, don't let time keep you from working out. And good. Woo! So good. Keep it up. We've got our glute bridges here. This time, I'm going to watch you. One leg up, the other's down. Keep in mind, like I said, both legs is fine. Lifting those lips high, hips high, that's all we need. In three, two, and go. Good. Got those runner's glutes. Good. <laughs> Keep them up. She's doing great. I'm sure you are at home. Breaks when you need it. Whew. I know. We're getting warm. What do you know? And good. Switch legs. Switch legs for me and start. So, this move here is going to work your hips, your hamstrings, your glutes. If, for any reason, this is not challenging enough for you, Always feel free to add weight to any exercise. You can hold the weight above your head and get a nice little core workout as well. But this should be pretty tough. If it's not, as I said before, give me a call and we'll talk about it. <laughs> You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Back up, my friends. We've got jump squats to finish. Remember option one, option two on the toes, Option three, pop it up and go. You pick your option. If you get tired, you change your option. Nice and light feet, nice and light. Keep it up. Good, get those glutes down. Wanna get nice and low and explode up. Good. Whew. Looking good, Lindsay, keep it up. Woo! 
going good. You made it through circuit. One, completely this time. So we grab a little water, take a break. So these muscles back here are a wonderful, wonderful component to any workout. Largest muscle group in our body, killing those calories, melting the fat. So that's what we're here for today. Looks like she's already ready, so enough of my talking. We've got circuit two, 30 seconds each. This time we're gonna challenge her core. Forearm plank with a leg tap. We're right here. Ooh. And we're down in three, two, go. You wanna make sure your butt's nice and tucked. Your core's tight. Good. Feel free to speed them up if you've got that form. You're doing great. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Down here. We're gonna be extra strong. We've got Superman's. So Lindsay's going to demo our Superman. Arms are up, legs are up. Option one, going down and up there. Option two, a continual swim. And go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Lift those glutes off the ceiling, or up to the ceiling, off the floor. I guess if you're on the ceiling, you might be Superman instead of, or you might be Spider-Man instead of Superman. Keep it up. This is a good sign. I can't talk if I'm working, right? Three, two, and one. Woo. Now, transition from Superman to Mario, my favorite. And my little boy, Ethan, my little nephew. This one's for you. Two from the side, we've got a nice little lunge, and you're back up. Okay, option one, little tap. Option two, it's me, Mario. You're up here, hopping. I might be annoying the heck out of you right now, but we're gonna work together. Ready? In three, two, and one. Bring that knee to that chest. Woo. All right, let's check that form. Keep going. You look like a sprinter over here, ready for action. It's always easy when you have a good student. All right, well, I guess I might as well join her. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Right away, other side. You ready? All right, three, two, and go. She's using those arms, getting nice and high. Woo. My quads. These things right here. Woo. This is burning off my morning oatmeal. Four, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All over again. You ready? Yep. Are you ready? I think they said yeah. So let's do it. Right here in your plank. And go. Tapping it out, good. Taking a moment here to talk form. We're gonna push through those shoulder blades nice and strong. Push through, tighten that stomach. Make sure those hips stay where they are. Don't wanna see you doing any of this. No hula hips. Another option to come up to your arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, stay where you are. It's time to be Superman, remember? Glutes to the ceiling in three, two, and one. Or swim with me. Do some laps. 
is the closest you'll see me to water, though it is a great workout. Keep it up. Keep those hips high. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Back to Mario. Woo! Now let's not throw this workout away on pizza and spaghetti, but in the honor of Mario, in three, two, and go. Ooh, I'm sweating. Me too. Woo! And if you're not, speed it up. Come on. Don't forget our modified option to just step it up or really fire those glutes and quads. Whew. Make sure that knee is directly behind the toe, right here. Whew. Three, oh. two, and one. Whew. Shake them out and switch. In three, in two, and one. Whew. Come on. Like I said, not hard enough, you pick it up. Too hard, slow it down. You're doing great, Lindsay, keep it up. She's not gonna be my friend after this. Whew. Keep in mind, we've only got one more circuit after this. Come on, last three, two, and one. Whew. So good. All right, circuit two, complete. Woo! Take a water break, do what you need. Keep moving. Whew, are we ready? Remember, pause button, but don't stop. Pause and stop, two different buttons. Make sure we find them. Whew, we've got toe taps here designed to bring the heart rate down, but still work on those legs. You're gonna go to the side and to the back. There is a slight bend in that standing leg, but our chest is high. Now speed them up, side and back, let's go. Come on. If you don't need to touch the ground, that's cool too. Woo! Dang, all right, keep it up. Get a little lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna hold it. Option one, your foot's back on the ground. Option two, you're up, and you're gonna pulse. Chest high for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good. Woo! Other side. Let's do this. And down, and go. Chest high. Speed them up. Hands are wherever you want. Take out that tap if you can. Squeeze the glutes. Really focus and good. Now you're gonna hold that leg. Just needed a break and pulse. Woo! For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Make sure you're squeezing those glutes, okay? Next, walking squats or froggy hops sound totally different, but they both work the same muscle groups. Option one is our walking, going forward and back, staying low, forward and back. Our advanced option, forward and back, forward and back. 30 seconds of this, you ready? Let's go. Woo. So Lindsay's got the advance. I'm gonna walk it out. As long as
long as you're staying low, I'm happy. As long as you're glowing glutes, I'm happy. You're gonna love me after the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one, now hold it. Nice and low. Come on, chest is high. You're holding this little puppy for 30 seconds. Ooh. Oh, mama. Chest is high, come on. Chest is high. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We're going out and again. We love our high fives here at Glowing Fit. All over again, okay? So, you've got this, you know the moves. Push, okay? We've got one more time through this, and then, dun dun dun, the finisher, okay? So we've got our toe taps. You're right here, knees bent. You're going to the side and back and go. Feel free to take the tap out. And if you're struggling with balance like I am today, keep it in. Come on. Other side. Let's do this and go. Remember, breaks when you need it. Keep breathing. Come on, speed them up. For five. Hold it. Woo! See that fatigue? For five, four, three, two, and one. Walking squats or froggy hops. In three, two, let's go. Now I can't let Lindsay have all the fun. So I'm gonna move to our froggy hops. Yeah, we're showing up my glutes. No, she's great. And so are you for three, two, and hold. You break when you need it. All right, get down there, get nice and low. So good. Watch those knees, they're behind the toes. Right there, chest is high. Woo! For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo! All right. So, if you're done, finito, complete, you can stop right there. You can move to our stretch portion of the video series, take some time, celebrate your accomplishments. But once again, if you've got a little more left in you, we have the finisher, all right? So this is gonna burn. It's not gonna be pretty, and that's okay. Because if you wanna glow, we gotta work. So, finisher, did you get some water? Good, hope you did too, because we're about to go. We're gonna pulse in our lunges, so a nice static lunge with a pulse. We're gonna go there for about 30 seconds each side, and then I'll throw in the fun. All right, three, two, go. Knees behind the toes. This seems like a walk in the park until you feel it. 
And if you already do, well, good, I'm doing my job. Keep it up. Come on. You look too happy for this workout. <laughs> Three, two, and very good. Switching sides. In three, two, and go. Whew. Whoa, balance. We must work on all of our, all the things we need. Good thing I got that balance and stability workout to do. For five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. So, fairly good there. Now, we take it to the next level. Option one, you're alternating. Nice and quick. Option two, you're happy with me. 30 seconds. Let's go. Almost there. The final work we have to do today is right down here. I call these butt busters. Because once again, my butt used to indent. So near and dear to my heart is this move. Optional weight behind the legs. We're gonna come up and to the side. Up and to the side. Opening up those hips and go. Really squeeze those glutes. Squeeze. One more here. Good. Now you're gonna pulse one, two, three, back down. One, two, three, back down. Woo! Got me breathing. I barely had to stop because Lindsay's got killer form. Last one. Now hold it up and pulse. Pulse. Woo! I'm sweating. Are you? Oh, yeah. Good. Come on. Keep it up. A little shake should happen. Come on. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Hold it for five. Four. I know. Three. Two. And down. Woo! Other side. Switch it up. Wipe the sweat off your face. Or if it's on the ground, just clean it up later. All right, here we go. Other side. And up and to the side. Up to the side. If your wrists are bothering you, take a minute and go down to the ground on your forearms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now we're going to pulse up for three, back down. Do 
feeling okay back there? Yep. <laughs> now pulse. Don't give up. And hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! So you made it. Feel good about it. We're gonna stretch out our hip flexors. Got one leg in front, stretch forward. Good, if you would like, you can grab your wrist and twist toward that front leg. So it gives you an even more of a stretch right here. Good, now you're gonna roll forward and stretch the back of your legs. I don't want you to reach here for your toes or anything. You just want to keep your shoulders pulled back and then go where that comfortably brings you. As long as you feel a good stretch back here. Woo! Nice. Good. Now we're going into pigeon stretch. So, pigeon looks like these. You'll bring one leg in front and make a little angle with it. Otherwise, right up here and keep the leg close in. If you can't make it all the way out there, that's okay. The stretch is actually really, really hard for me until I tried it like 50 times. So if you can, you can come down here too and relax. Now we'll move to the other side. Awesome. So you've got hip flexor stretch. This time, you're on your other side and you're stretching forward. You can grab that wrist and reach if you'd like. 